John Legend. John Legend. You know, I used to listen to, well, I still do listen to David Carroll. And David Carroll doesn't seem to like John Legend at all. He calls him a shine. Calls him a shine. I think John Legend is probably a shine too. But I I think he's a hypocrite. I think he's a bitch. Don't get me wrong. It, he has some songs that I like. But I didn't know that he was a bitch until this whole R. Kelly thing popped off, right? Now, this guy was on the Surviving R. Kelly docuseries. And he was on Twitter just running his mouth. Let me tell you something about a lot of these guys. They hide behind their money. They hide behind the law. Because a lot of these guys on Twitter who just keep running their mouths, especially these guys in Hollywood, they're not going to come up to you and run their mouths like that. They won't. See, there's a lot of rights in America. And a lot of these people hide behind rights. And they hide behind freedom of speech to just say whatever they want about people. So they talk real big, bad, and bold. They won't say that shit to your face. Because they know somebody will knock them out. I wish R. Kelly would punch this guy in his face. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of this guy. And I should make a video about that, that fool called Common. You see, they sound real good when they're just coming out making music. But when they get all that money and they're settled in Hollywood, you see the true them come out. Now... This little bitch here, let me see if I still have that. It says here that Elvis All-Star Tribute, Adam Lambert, I don't know who that is, and John Legend, and, and, joins, and more join special, whatever that is. But um, it says here, John Legend, Ed Sheeran, Sheeran I don't know who that is. To pay tribute to Elvis Presley. Okay? We all know who Elvis Presley is. He copied black music, black singing style, and made a whole bunch of money, and he's called the king and whatever, whatnot. I, I don't listen to Elvis music. But let's find out some stuff about Elvis Presley, shall we? Now, I'm not going to read all of this, because it's a lot to read. But I'll go through the key points here. Now, it says here that Priscilla Presley met Elvis Presley in 1959 when she was 14. At that time, Elvis was serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. They began a romance and Priscilla eventually followed Elvis to the United States. Eight years after they met, Priscilla and Elvis got married on May 1st, 1967 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go down here. Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. After the first night of meeting Elvis, Priscilla couldn't concentrate on school but she told nobody that she'd met Elvis because as she thought, who would believe that just last night I was at Elvis's house at 14? Okay. Remember it says here, they started a what? They began a romance. They met in 1959. They got married in 1967. That's nine years after. Is my math correct? I think it is. No, that's eight years after. Something like that. Whatever. Now, let's see how old Elvis was. 
when he met her. Elvis Presley met Priscilla, was this? Belou, Belou, when she was just 14 years old. He was 10 years older. Let's do the math. 10 plus 14 equals 24. <laughs> the two married in 1967 after a nearly eight year courtship. Okay, so it was eight years. But it says here that after they met, they began a romance that was before she got married. So, Mr. John Legend, it says here that you're going to pay tribute to Elvis Presley. Who, on the first night he met Priscilla, she was at his house. She went to his house. I didn't read the part where it says that she met some guys in the bar and they took her to the uh, to Elvis' house. Let me see where it is. Um, it says here, in Germany, 14-year-old Priscilla would hang out at the Eagles Club a place for eating and entertaining, yada, 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 where is it? It says here, one day a handsome looking, where is it? One day a handsome man looking somewhere in his mid-twenties approached Priscilla. His name was Curry Grant. He asked Priscilla, how do you like to meet Elvis Presley? My wife and I are good friends of his. Of course, Priscilla agreed. And the night she was to meet Elvis, she wore a white and navy sailor dress. Elvis lived off base by Bad Neuheim, I don't know how to pronounce that. On the evening of Sunday, September 13, 1959, Curry, his wife, and Priscilla drove for 40 minutes to get to Elvis' house. Okay, so she met Elvis for the first time at his house. And they said that after they met, they began a romance. So, so, Mr. John Legend, how is it you are talking all this shit about R. Kelly and all this nonsense on Twitter about R. Kelly? Let me see, where, where is that? Where, where is it? Do I still have, I have it somewhere here. All the nonsense you're talking about R. Kelly. But then, let, let, me, let me find that. But then, you took pictures with Harvey Weinstein. And your response for that is, I took a photo and worked with Harvey on several occasions before his abuse was known to me and the rest of the world. Since his being exposed, his company and career have rightfully been destroyed and he's been indicted. Sounds like something that should happen to R. Kelly. Now, I don't believe this because according to what I heard on the news and all of that, it's been rumored for years about what Harvey Weinstein was doing in Hollywood. So what year did you take this picture, sir? And how long you became a celebrity, sir? S stop lying to the people. And he's so arrogant. He mentioned R. Kelly down here. Sounds like something that should happen to R. Kelly. My gosh, what did I do? I did something I should not have done. Ah. Anyway. Sounds like something that should happen to R. Kelly. This guy is a hypocrite. Because he's going after R. Kelly. Hard. He's going after R. Kelly. But then, he's doing a tribute to Elvis Presley. Who met Priscilla when she was 14. And they began a romance. And they got married eight years later. 
So is it safe to say that Elvis Presley might have been a pedophile? So if Elvis Presley might have been a pedophile, a pedophile why is it that you're paying tribute to this guy, but then you're going in on R. Kelly? Why is it you took a picture with Harvey Weinstein? You're not trashing this guy, though, or you're going in on R. Kelly. Let me tell you what should happen to this guy called um, John Legend. John Legend... Mr. John Legend, what should happen to this guy is a bunch of females, the Me Too females, because most females are not um, loyal, okay? They should turn on him, and a bunch of females out there should turn on him, dig up his past, find any dirt they can find on him, and put it out there, anything. We want to hear that he touched the dog, I want to hear that he touched a cat, you know, he was chasing a mouse around the house. He was doing something perverted. He was watching ch child pornography. He's not clean. He's one of those guys who try to, you know, keep up that squeaky, squeaky clean image. And then point fingers at everybody. Something is being hidden about this guy, by this guy. We need to find out. It's 2019. I guess we're in, the, we're in the age of Me Too. Let's expose everybody then. I don't like traitors. And I believe traitors need to be dealt with. They need to be. People should find some dirt on this nigga. He's just too much now. And Common was a rapper. He probably had sex with some little 13, 12-year-old girl at one of his concerts. They need to find some shit on him too. I'm sick of these Negroes. I'm really sick of these Negroes and this fake outrage. Whatever R. Kelly did was back in the 90s. And none of these idiots said anything. Why now? Why now? Wasn't Common a celebrity back then in the 90s? John Legend wasn't, but Common was. I didn't hear Common saying anything. They're all hypocrites, every last one of them. All of them have something hiding. And people need to find it and put it, every one of them on blast, all of them. I'm gone.